Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome to Dexter Stardust Adventures in Outer Space. This is a brand new upcoming point and click adventure game, which funnily enough is space themed. Now this is due out on the 4th of March, I believe, in the UK. So uh, about a week's time and I've very kindly been given early access so I can share this with you guys. Uh, this is season one, episodes 0 to 4. So there's quite a lot going on here. I believe there's a director's commentary that you can enable as well. Um, so you can hear sort of what the developers have got to say about the game while you're playing, which is a pretty cool feature I think. Uh, this is coming out on Steam and also I believe the Nintendo Switch as well so uh, multiple platforms which is always a good thing. So let's click here to start. Um, we'll hit new game. Uh, so bonus episode zero this is where we'll start uh, we've got episode one two, two three and four and it's pretty cool look it shows you the length of the episode this, how much of it is story and how much of it is puzzles so it looks like it's a good sort of variety here um, this one looks like it's not massive amounts of, of these things but we're going to go with this one because I'm going to play for about 15 minutes or so just so you guys can get a bit of a taster for it and then I'll leave descriptions in the well I'll leave links in the description down below so you guys can go and check it out for yourself uh, are you ready to play episode zero we absolutely are yes let's do it I'm really excited about this That's a pretty cool little intro. I've seen the um, trailer for this as well. It looks really, really interesting. Okay, episode zero, delivery on Venus. I like I like the episodic thing. I'm, I'm quite a big fan of that in some adventure games. If it's done well, then it's, it's a very cool little thing to sort of divide it up into I love this episodes, song. I think. How can anyone not like the light years? How can anyone not like Taco Shack? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I've heard there are people that don't like tacos. Come on, Aurora. That's crazy. No, no. It's true. I was listening to this interview and... Oh, man. It's Uncle Jetto. Hmm. He's probably got a job for us. I'll patch him through. Buenos dias, Dexter and Aurora. Buenos dias, Uncle Jetto. Buenas. What did you have for us today? I want a persona on Venus that ordered a shipment of dashboard hula girls. So I want you guys to head over there as soon as possible. Venus, eh? That's the one with all the water on it, right? Any details? Looks like they live in a pretty inaccessible place, overlooking a cliff. Uh, can we just do an airdrop? No, they paid extra for front door delivery. Hmm, shouldn't be too hard, I guess. Perfecto. Just let me know when you're done. I'm working on something big on Ganymede. I'll let you know when I have more details. Sounds good, Uncle Jetto. We'll talk soon. Jetto out. Okay, let's hit it, Dex. You think they'll have a taco shack there? <laughs> we can only hope. <laughs> Straight away, I'm getting one of those, like, Saturday morning cartoon vibes. And I'm really enjoying it, I've got to say. Venus. Pretty cool little ship, that, actually. Sounds like a pretty straightforward delivery. Aren't they all? They should be, but somebody always seems to complicate things. I feel like that was directed at me. <sighs> Olvídalo. Let me check something out. Looks like we're making the delivery up there. Nice. It's not too far away. Looks a bit ominous though, doesn't it? I think we can just... I've got the merchandise. Let's go! Dexter, wait! There's a path over here. <laughs> uh, Aurora? Oh, space. Not already. Is he down a hole or is he bumped into a wall? I yep. think I just complicated things. It's yeah, down a hole. I, can see that. I can't climb back up. Can you give me a hand? Not with all this mud here. Aw, oh, come on, Aurora. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take this path over here, and I'll meet you up at the house. What about me? How am I gonna get all the way up there? Well, you'll just have to take the long way around. The long way? Dex, I know you really will. You'll figure something out. See you soon. <laughs> we're going the long way around then. Well, let's figure this out. Okay, and we are off. Here we go. Uh, what is this? It's our inventory. Wow. Uh, there's the package. A chimichanga, nachos, and tacos. We've got all sorts of things. We've also got a checklist. So we've got to find Aurora and deliver the package. Pretty cool. I'm liking the mechanics and stuff so far. It's very smooth. It feels very, very cool. Love the artwork. And the music use is very cool as well, I think. Uh, so there's the ravine wall. Ah, so you click it to get your options. Nice. It's the ravine wall that I adventurously fell down. Spacey. <laughs> 
I don't. So I'm guessing that's like to pick up. That's to talk, and then I'm not sure what There's that no is. There's no way to climb back up there. It's too muddy. Should probably read the how to play. To pick up. But um, you know what I'm like. So a couple of signs here. We can go to the forest. So oh, hang on. There's some clay. Let's get some of this clay, shall eh, we? Why not? That's pretty cool. I like the little new item thing. So like even draw draw more attention to it. Nice little mechanic. This is feeling really well made so far. I've got to say. Oh, look at this. There's an abandoned building. So there's other buildings here, not just the one that we're delivering to. The sunlight is especially hot and bright here, but there's nothing to use. Right, so maybe we can use that hot sunlight to melt something. There's nothing to pick up. <laughs> I just wanted to see what you would say if we tried to pick it up. Uh, can we melt the clay, maybe? I don't have any reason to do that. No, we can't. All right, I don't. I doubt we. Pro no, the nachos has probably got melted cheese on it already, right? So let's head into this building then, I suppose. See what's in here. Hopefully, there'll be something useful. Ooh, a molder. What's that for? Ah. Can we use the clay in there? Looks like there's a blaster mold in this thing. So let's make a mold of a blaster. I don't know why we want to do that, but Neato. now we've got a sort of a clay gun, which is interesting. <laughs> I'm sure that will make sense later on. So we've also got a printer here. What is this? Do? It looks like a 3D printer of some kind. I've heard some of these can take a mold, determine its function, and print a working mechanism. Spacey. Oh, nice. So we use this as the mold. Do that. Oh, we can't. It's pretty firmly attached. So we can't use. I can't this. do anything with it. It's off. Oh, okay. Is this the power switch? So this is used then. I can't move it. The handle's missing. Right. So we don't have a handle. So we're gonna have to find a handle then for this, and then potentially we we can make a blaster, which would be quite useful. So uh, let's head off to this pond area. I don't think we can go over there. <gasps> That's the thing we saw, isn't it? Oh, reeds. Can we get some of those? I think I can break one off. Nice. Can we maybe use that as a handle? Possibly. Let's look at this thing. This is what we saw Yikes. on the... Yikes! I'm never going to cross with that thing there. This there is... has to be something I can do to get this octopus away from here. Right, yeah. Maybe we can use... Let's try the stick, but I'm thinking we've probably got to make the blaster I don't want to make it. it angry. There has to be something I can do to get this octopus away from here. Unless we can feed it. I mean, maybe we can feed it. Santo Espacio. I'm not giving up my food from Taco Shack. Right, no, okay. There has to be something I can do to get this octopus away from here. Right, so there's a board here, but we, I doubt we'll be able to get Yikes. over to that. I'm never going to cross with that thing there. No. There has to be something I can do to get this octopus away from here. So can we use the reed as a handle, maybe? That, that's what I'm thinking. Let's head over here and try it. Okay. Uh, reed, will you get in here? Let's see if this fits. Yep, you will. Right, turn the power on. Ooh. Insert mold. Okay. So let's insert our mold. I have to find some way of hardening it before I put it in the printer. Ah. Right. Can we use the sun then? The sunlight. Let's try that. Let's see. This shouldn't take too long. Holy there we space go. nachos. It worked. I like the way it got lighter it's as well. And ready to be manufactured. Lighter and more grey. It's pretty, pretty nice touch, actually. Attention to detail is good. Uh, so, I've got to say, very impressive this game so far. Alrighty, let's see what this thing can do. Oh, look at it floating. That's pretty cool. Very sci-fi. Holy Jimmy Chunga! It's a fully functioning blaster. Nice. Right. I'm guessing we can use that to shoot the octopus's arm then. I love that little mechanic and the little noise it makes. It's great. Right. Well, this shouldn't hurt him too bad, but it'll definitely sting. Nice. So it did work. It worked. <laughs> the little, the little half rift there is great. Um, right, let's look at this. Try and take this board. Right, that's got to come in handy for something. Up to the bridge we go. Uh, nothing else here. Okay. Oh, another board. 
we'll take that. I wonder what we're going to need these boards for. Cross the bridge. I wonder what we're going to find on the other side then. Ah, <laughs> well, I guess this is what this is what we're going to need the boards for. <laughs> Answered that question already. Um, I wonder if it's going to be a case of. Can we like take any of the? Ah, no. Okay, right. It's going to be like this, right? Yeah. Okay. Nice. <laughs> nice. One of these puzzles, which is good news because. I think I get the idea. Oh, I like that it skips it as well. That's good. I was going to say there's quite a few of those. And whilst I wouldn't have minded clicking them all and going through, it's quite cool that the game sort of goes, right, yeah, fair enough. You've solved it. I'll do the rest for you. Again, taking the player into account, very cool. So, ooh, bridge. Anyway, we found Aurora. All right, I made it. KV Index, how was it? Uh, not bad, but I had to solve all these stupid puzzles. Super fun, I wish it took longer though. Terrible, I hate point and clicks. The part of the octopus was neat, pretty good, reminded me of my childhood. I wonder if this is going to be the end of episode zero then. Like, it's it, this seems like sort of end dialogue, maybe. Um, super fun. Super fun. I wish it took longer though. The next episodes are all yeah, way there we go. longer. Okay. Come on, are you ready to deliver this package? Let's do it. I'm ready for some fresh tacos already. Pues vámonos ya. So yeah, episode zero is almost like a demo then, which is pretty neat. Delivery. What's wrong with him? Well, it's um complicated. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Triton. Miss, I have confirmation of Dexter Stardust. Excellent. Have you secured his location? I will place an order which will bring him here. He will come unaware of our intentions. Then I will send my envoy to meet you. Your envoy, miss? Yes. I expect him to arrive sometime after Dexter. How will I recognize your envoy, miss? Is he like you? No. He is a robot. A, a, a robot? From... <laughs> he is from my home. From Planet X. Nice! Alright, let's let this play. So that's almost like a little introduction slash demo. Pretty cool. I've actually got all the episodes, as you saw before, because um, I was very kindly given a key to this game. So I'm definitely going to be playing the rest of this. This is really good. I I've got to say, I'm hugely impressed after playing that, that little intro chapter or episode zero, as it was called. The puzzles were pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I imagine the puzzles in the future episodes one to four are probably a little more complex, given that um, when we came onto this screen, you can see there the, the bar on this is all very low. But on these, so we've got like a half bar of puzzles, a third bar of puzzles, full bar of puzzles and then that one not much puzzles but tons of story so i imagine that the puzzles in this are going to be a little more complex and the other ones were basically just to show off the mechanics of the game but i really really enjoyed that i love space themed stuff anyway i mean space themed and point and click is like the ideal combination for me so yeah, I, I had lots of fun with this. I'm going to leave a link in sorry, I'm going to leave a link in the description below this video so you can go and find it on Steam and um you know, add it to your wish list, buy it if you want to play it. As I said, it's coming out on the 3rd or the 4th of March depending on what region you're in, I think, and um, what device you're buying it on. So, yeah, absolutely go and check it out. If this looks like the type of thing that you think you would like to play, then, you know, go and support it. It's it's something that I'm going to be playing more of for sure. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Fans of Fellows, and Lyle for all the support on the channel. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you all next time.